Hi Aquarius, welcome to your September spirit messages. I am Shoni Lizette. If you are new to my readings, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning a massive thank you to you for being a part of our community. These readings are a little bit different because they are directly channeled messages from the divine realm, okay? Sometimes my direct channeling comes through in the form of my eyes glazing over or me looking away to kind of read and see the information. Sorry, my window's open because it's a bit hot in here today and Okay, so I, I, you know, I blessed be and I hope everyone's protected and safe. Um, Aquarius, I just got this energy, okay. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to like make light of that situation because I really hope that nobody was uh, gravely injured. Um, but I just got this song of, it's the sound of the police, whoop, whoop. I don't, I don't even know if that's a song, uh, but that just came through my head and I really feel like there's this energy of like celebration for you, Aquarius, in the month of September. Very, very jovial. Oh, something like, okay, if you know me personally, you know that's how, when I speak on these videos, you know that these are messages coming from the divine because like, I don't use that word. I don't even know what jovial means. I think it means like happy. Um, in another video, I use the word jubilee and I'm like, <laughs> Anyways, let's get going in your reading, Aquarius, okay? Um, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my deity, the Morgan, and uh, let's see what's going on. Mirror, who or what is triggering you? I pull up five cards from Rebecca Campbell and five from the Tarot. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you for being a part of our community. As a single mom, me being able to do this and be of service to others as my full-time career and support my family is like the biggest blessing ever. So thank you, thank you so much. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. Yeah, that's that whole like, it's like, I, I don't know, some of you might also have uh, Scorpio and Gemini vibes because I did get like good energy from the last two readings I did as well Which is really interesting because the majority of September's readings are intense and these have been like the happier ones and, and not saying that the other ones weren't happy, but like they were like, you know Serious and this is just like I just want to party. I just want to have fun you, You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your know Very similar to Scorpio Aquarius. I'd be curious to know. Let me know in the comments if you have uh, uh, Scorpio predominantly in your natal chart. If you're interested in a private reading, in the description box below. Oops. Wait. In the description box below, there is the two different options I offer. The live readings and the pre-recorded. You can check out. Check it out and see which one suits your needs better um, so you can book a private with me. Okay, Mirror, who or what is triggering you? Been tacking, longing for home, the original light workers. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. You're already doing it. Stop facing your true, uh, sorry, uh, keep facing your true north, not stop facing. And then Council of the, of the Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. <sighs> you know, I feel like we also got this energy in your monthly Aquarius. It's like you're on the up and up. What's that? I don't know. Um, you've been working for a very long time. You've been putting a lot of energy working for a long time and get the eight of pentacles that's hard work yeah and now you are sorry there's something coming through well okay um aquarius some of you uh might be um with a karmic partner who very strongly mirrors your energy they may be a cancer aquarius or have predominant cancer in their chart um 
I don't think this is a bad thing. I think that this is a big learning experience for you and your spirit team wants you to know that in the month of September, it's really important to be in, in action. So when things rise up that may be a little bit combative or like there might be like drama, fights, arguments, disagreements, that kind of stuff, it's really important to, one, like obviously don't give the silent treatment, but don't lash out. It's almost like an observing thing and letting things unfold naturally, okay? I'm not trying to push things. That's the big message I got for you, Aquarius. Because the hangman is very much an inaction leads to action. It's almost like sometimes the less we do, the more information we can receive so that we can move forward, okay? We're not forcing something to happen. We're just kind of letting it like flow through. What's triggering you in the month of September, I think, is that although you may be a very go with the flow kind of energy, right? You are air, literally go with the flow. Um, in the month of September, you might have these desires to um, have a little bit more forward momentum and there might be resistance from other environments, external, whoever you're dating, if you're dating anybody or like career, whatever, right? Just know that this is all part of the divine plan. So you've got to let it happen as it's supposed to. Mentaking, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers, and the eight of pentacles, okay? I am getting this energy that some of you might be in a job that you don't necessarily love and you're working really, really hard for it, and you're working really hard to succeed, to meet your financial goals, to have stability, abundance, success, all that stuff. I heard even fame for some of you, and I mean, you are the stars, so duh. Uh, but what I will share with you is that um, I don't know that the career that you've chosen is actually what fulfills you. I feel like it feels a lot more like work than happiness, especially with the eight of pentacles and this woman looking over it's like oh my god another another slideshow another presentation another editing another contract and you're just like when is this like i'm almost getting that like oh when is it going to be done when is it going to be done so your divine team wants you to understand that in the month of september the opportunity exists for you to start actually following sorry my belly button rings for you that's weird for you to start actually following your dreams and your passion. So no one's saying like, go quit your day job and don't have a paycheck, duh. We live in a capitalistic society. We need money to survive, right? Um, but what they are saying is that what you could do at this time is um, maybe start doing these things that bring you joy from a place of hobbies, okay? So in your pastime, as a way to, um, you know, be creative, some type of creative outlet, um, maybe it's writing, blogging, something like that, um, photography, but this is really about like, trying to find that like maybe you don't love your job right now but putting energy into the things that you do love to see if they'll end up provide you with some type of results okay then we got lemuria creating heaven on earth it's happening and judgment okay so to me this is almost like in september you are going to have a moment judgment is always talk it always talks about spiritual awakening and the truth setting you free so there's going to be a pivotal moment because it's also major arcana and can't, um, the hanged man is also a major arcana as well. There's going to be this pivotal moment, Aquarius, where you're going to experience something, okay? And as you experience it, you're going to turn around and realize and recognize like, whoa, I have not been in the right direction at all just yet. Okay? And it's going to be like intense because... It's almost like you're gonna, the word I keep hearing is pivot. You're gonna pivot. It's like you've been on this forward momentum in your life, right? Everything's going well or so you think, and you know, you're just going with the flow, status quo, that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden there's something that happens in September where you turn, I heard September 15th for some of you, the 17th, the 18th, around that time where you're going to turn around and there's going to be this massive, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like energy of like, whoa, oh, 
oh, I, 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 th this is the direction I need to be going in. And so even though you're, you've always been moving forward, you're working hard, you're doing these things, it's almost like you're going to keep going ahead. But instead of like, I don't know, going straight on the highway, you're going to take the exit and go a new route in something. Okay, and I think it's gonna be really beneficial for you, really important for you. The divine team wants you to know that they 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 are with you. That's why it's council council of the light, divine orchestration, right? They are with you. And for some of you, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Uh, so maybe there's like that, like I'm not sure, right? Like that pivot, like oh, I don't. <laughs> you know. And so in this month of September. It's like, you're not going to be in this like dilly dally. You're going to just be like, no, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm gone kind of thing. Right. And you're just going to propel and push forward and you're going to see immense success because of it, because it's only natural to experience this type of success because of all the work that you've been putting forward. Yeah, <laughs> Knight of Wands, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. The Knight of Wands is one of the fastest, is the, well, no, the Knight of Swords is the fastest, but this is the second fastest night, right? And he is just on a mission of creativity, of passion, of happiness, okay? So keep on, keep on keeping on, okay? You got this. No more, no more like stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. It's like, full steam ahead right because that's where the success and the happiness and this desire that you want and i'm not saying be destination based no 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 no. okay don't mumble my words because i heard some of you just say something stupid in your head okay i'm not saying that uh what i am saying is that you could focus on actually recognizing that you have the worth and the value internally to achieve these goals and these desires and that you're already in the right direction right so you keep on working hard you keep on with your responsibilities and everything else will come uh, into play and then you got the queen of pentacles and the high priestess okay for some of you you do have an older woman that now has become like your guardian angel like grandmother or a mother for some of you okay counsel the light divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms okay for others of you, it's like you're tapping into this maternal, nurturing, loving energy um, in the spirit world, okay? Some of you might have a, um, you know, may work with like Mother Mary. Um, others of you may work with the Sisterhood of the Rose. Um, I heard some of you like Mother Teresa, um, some, some saints. There's a lot of Catholic um, energy that it is coming through right now. Um, like a lot of like so saints is the word I want to use. Uh, a lot of saints. Um, uh, oh, what's that one from? Um, oh my God, what's the name? She had, well, I mean, a lot of them do in Guadalupe. So somebody might be Spanish and have that Guadalupe, okay? So there's there's that connection in there, okay? So just pray to and ask for direction from those that you work with in the in the spirit realm. They are here to support you. Um, they know that you are on this direction moving forward, and they know that you are to receive all these blessings, Aquarius. But the light, the life, the life, the journey isn't linear, okay? The line isn't always straight, okay? Sometimes you do have to pivot, ebb and flow, weave in and out. Weave? Oh my god. Anyways, you get what I'm saying. All right, Gemini, if you're, uh, Gemini, anyways, Aquarius, wow, sorry about that. Aquarius, if you're interested in a private reading, the information's in the description box below. As always, thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you for being a part of our community, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later, alligator. Peace out.